Investing in Las Vegas Real Estate, Maximizing Rental Income How to Maximize Rental Income While Investing in Las Vegas Real Estate The ultimate goal of any investor is maximizing return on the money. But how is this done while investing in Las Vegas real estate? When someone wants to invest in government bonds or savings accounts, they know what the return on the money is, but not in residential real estate. When is the last time your e realtor emailed you listings with an accurate estimate of expected cash flow from your real estate investment? Wouldn't it be nice if the investor is assured that the listing that they get is one of the best price listings that offer the highest cash flow? The answer is yes. And we are one of the very few, if not the only, residential real estate agents in the United States that don't just send listings to their investors. We email a report that includes a very good estimate of the expected cash flow as well as sales and rental CMAs to our clients. In order to accomplish this, we have developed a step-by-step -step guide for investors, which we will explain next. Criteria to find the best Las Vegas investment properties. One, the property should be one of the best price listings. Two, it should provide for the best net rental income. Three, try to minimize cash flow killers like vacancy and repairs. Let's talk about finding the best priced investment properties. The best Las Vegas investment properties should obviously be the best price listings and finding them is only possible through comparative shopping in a large area. In order to find the best priced investment properties, we look at all of the suitable listings in about a third of the valley, which we have found to be the best rental area. We have done this since 2011 and are very familiar with pricing in the area, so we can eliminate most listings quickly. However, we have to do a comparative market analysis, or CMA, to decide property value on the borderline listings, and this is very time consuming. Additionally, brand new listings are usually priced too high and in order to get a good deal, it should stay on the market for a while. So we track these listings and lose most of them to other buyers, but those that remain will be very good deals. Two, the property should provide for the best net rental income. Look among the best priced listings for those which provide the highest net rental income or cash flow. In order to figure this, we do an additional rental CMA on the best price listings to decide a suitable rental rate. And then we deduct common expenses such as HOA fee, property tax, and insurance. Net rental income equal rental income minus HOA fee plus property tax plus insurance. If needed, we deduct any of the following as well property management fee and pool maintenance fee, and SIDS, LIDS, and homeowner warranty. We call this net rental income, cash on cash return on the money, which is an excellent estimate of cash flow with a couple of modifications. If the investor wants to get a mortgage, then he or she has to deduct mortgage payments as well. But we have not talked vacancy and repairs yet. Three. Try to minimize cash flow killers like vacancy and repairs. The two biggest cash flow killers are vacancy and repairs. If a home should be rented for $1,500 and is rented for $100 less, this may be due, due to renting it in December. Then the investor loses $1,200 per year in income or 6.7% of income. But if it stays vacant for only two months, the investor loses $3,000 or 16%. So we have to make sure that vacancy is minimized. While doing rental comps, we pay particular attention to how long it takes to rent each unit in the particular subdivision, especially direct comps, which mean other units with the same square footage and floor plan. There are subdivisions here that rent 13 out of 14 of their units in less than two weeks. An investor who owns an average unit in them has an excellent chance of renting it in two weeks or less. And then again, there are subdivisions that rent three or four out of 42 units in less than a month. 
An investor who owns a unit in these has very little chance of renting his or her unit in a month or two, and this affects cash flow seriously, but most investors can't access this data. We only send listings from units and subdivisions that rent the majority of units in less than a month to cut down on vacancy. The other issue is repairs, and we try to minimize it by selecting units that were built after 2000. One of the reasons is low E windows that are necessary for Las Vegas, which home, homes built in the 1990s lack. The other factor is laminate wood or tile flooring in living areas and avoiding carpet as it gets worn out and stained after a while. We also request that our clients get an inspection so problem areas are identified before buying the property. These are only a few of the considerations that go into finding the best investment listings, but we can't discuss them all in a short video. After passing listings through successive filters and losing most of them to other buyers, only one in 100 to 150 listings survive, so we can make an offer on them. But what remain are the best Las Vegas investment properties, period. Investing in Las Vegas real estate has been very profitable due to double-digit price gains that are going away. However, rental rate increases lag price appreciations, and even in a flat market, they will go up for a few years. And so does the cash flow generated by investment properties. This is Karen Sabrazade of LasVegasForUs.com and Realty One Group wishing you a great day.